Hello, Tanner here. Who welcome back to Grim Dawn? We're playing on the hardcore with our Drain Essence Death Knight. And we have made it to the Elite Smuggler's Pass. Last episode was Steps of Torment. This time we're heading towards Homestead. And after that, the uh, next journey will take us to the Shaded Basin and after that, Tyrant's Hold. Usually we can make it to the Shaded Basin waypoint, but doing the entire quest chain there usually has its own episode. But before all of that, let's uh, focus on the trolls at hand. So in between episodes, or as my warm up for recording this one, I, I did go back to the uh, to our lovely little uh, Broken Hills area and the uh, bounty for Rixnap Plague Feather was indeed just, just, just slightly off of where I had not yet explored. So I was, was lucky in that regard. I mean, it didn't seem to be a totally random spawn, but I just ran into it by a process of going to the places where I hadn't been yet. And again, no, it, it, I was lucky that I, I caught it relatively early rather than needing to clear all of the unexplored area because there was quite some still okay hello there mr troll okay you're actually not that 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 scary or impressive i'm, I'm sorry to say but you're not Oop. trolls just not the terrors they used to be uh, notice that the energy bar does seem to be drawing out when I'm in, in slightly longer fights. So I'm, I'm no now pushing my, my energy sustain and limits. So I shouldn't really go and push it too far anymore. I mean, pushing it a little bit, but I'm not going to put too many points into Drain Essence before stabilizing. Well, so for the, the next couple levels, I was only going to put some points into the uh, the support um, the support skills. Let's see, how much energy would they add? Can I get add, add one more here without actually adding more energy? And for this one, it's going to be, yeah, see, it's 5.8 extra energy per second. Whereas boosting the base is adding a bit more. At 9.5. That's actually not that big a difference. Well, another thing to keep in mind, of course, is that from the uh, skills of Okuma, we now have a uh, an energy leech. So if things attack me, there is more to help me sustain my energy. So... No, maybe uh, having the, the energy just bounce up and down a little bit is all right. It's just that the range in which it bounces is going to be relatively contained. Well, if it isn't my old friend, I Hello, Ogrim. Entirely honest with you. I came upon these ref How can I help? Well, I'm going to help you as well. Find your sister. Sorry to say, I already know that she's dead, but hey, maybe it's different this time. I mean, it's, it's, it's a different difficulty. Maybe there's some randomization. Spoiler, there's not. We can always be naive and optimistic, right? Let's go look for the sister. Maybe she is alive this time. For reals. I think putting a couple of extra levels into Warcry and uh, Scythe and Soul is going to be beneficial as well. The range of those increases with more points invested. So it, it increases faster for Warcry than it does for uh, Siphon Souls. Oh, hello there, Blind Berserker. No, oh, he's nowhere. So, as far as I, I know, the the Devotion Shrine down here is only here on Normal, not on Elite. So all we really have to do here is kill the boss and find the girl. But 
I don't know, I, I always enjoy this this place. It's a, it's a nice place to just run around. Uh, Icrix the Ravener. Uh, has a monster in frequent a metal, Icrix uh, metal. Which is actually decent. I, I seem to remember that it actually could be relevant for this build if Icrix decides to drop it. And of course, Icrix is not helping him. Yeah? Well, again, it, it's a farmable boss. Now, once you have the uh, the Deadman's uh, Gulch waypoint, you can just walk in here and murder him over and over and over again. And that was not it. And eventually, no, you're gonna get Icrix's medal. But outside of that, that little tidbit, I'm not actually recalling what the details are. Uh, could have found it maybe at a other playthrough, but. No, it, 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 I think it may have boosted a relevant skill in some way. Could it be that it, it added a heal to Warcry? That might be. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah. As I said, I'm not entirely sure, but just seeing Icrix prompts me to like, hey, wait, there was something, something relevant about it. Um, yeah, so we found the sister, so we can now just get out. It's a uh, very easy run this way. And then we see daylight again. Waha, light at the end of the tunnel. And there's the waypoints. Good. Okay. So once we're in Homestead, I have to remember to actually have a chat with the vendors there to get some more writs for boosting faction reputation. Oh, just to see if I can get them to a higher rep. Because no, I'm, I'm still oh, relatively swimming in money. But that's how the, the higher level you are, the more money enemies drop, the more valuable items are. So the easier it is to just build up a large amount of uh, money. Or iron bits, because technically it's not money, right? Okay, lots of stuff happening, but... In the end... I am the only one that walks away from this. Because I've, I've, I've heard and uh, read about that... No, with the very high level characters, no, the, the runs there, they just easily give you hundreds of thousands of gold. Whereas here, at now, at, at currently at level 64, 50,000 in a, in, in, a, in a... In an episode or in, in, in like an hour is pretty decent. But it, it's not like you know, you're netting half a million in that time frame. Not yet. No, we have to wait a little bit for that. Nazagrath the Fallen. Indeed, now you have Fallen. It's kind of nice when those names actually turn into self-fulfilling prophecies. You are guarding the gate no more. Oh, I uh, forgot to put down a portal near there, so we'll just go back to the other one. Because we do have a Prospector's Trail, which is relatively These there. To I come from Dulles Crossing, and I like some reputation, please. Oh yeah, we were here for food, that was it, yes. What's the problem? You have a bug problem? Well, uh, I can help you with your bug problem. Not going to do it this episode, but I, I can help you. And this is the dude we uh, we saved Don't earlier. What's left of my wares. Back, back, back in Act Two, and then we'll just get rid of some uh, some items. It's kind of nice. No, this build, no, we're not playing with shields that are not spectral war shields. I'm not using two handers, so I can just sell those out of out of hand. Kind of nice and easy. Mm. Fatality risk. We don't really care. Bone spikes, they have a recharge and duration bonus for Ravenous Earth. It's not the skill I'm using, but still relevant. Bloody pox. 
bit of skill cooldown on the helmets. Don't see that very often. And yeah, uh, those pants are very difficult to replace. Okay, some blue items. Anything useful here? Deathwalker foot pads. Uh, plus two to drain essence. A little bit of movement speed, a, bit, a little bit of a relative, relevant damage bonus. Fear when hit. It's actually, actually pretty nice. Though the problem here is that the armor is about a third lower. Or not even uh, it's a quarter lower compared to what we currently have. And that's not something I'd want. But maybe some upgraded uh, Deadhawk footpad would be nice. Fist of the Blind Assassin is a set item. Nightblade, of course, because Assassin. Chonagri. That looks very much bleeding. Blood packed. So, not using that one. Plus, two to, uh, plus one to Arcanist, plus two to Panetti's Ether Missiles on crit. That is pretty nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep all of those uh, things around. This vendor does have some components. I, I always buy the components from the vendors. So you have an infinite stash. Well, infinitely stackable stash. So you might as well benefit from it. Um, oh, that's the bounties. I was not looking for bounties. Not looking for people. And I actually forgot about the uh, journals, so let's read some of that. Safe storage, no question. And then we can put all the components in here. And then don't forget to pick up the writs, and then we're gonna go off into so put all these in the bin because my main bin, my shared one is overflowing. Uh, you. you like? Quartermaster. Yes. Ah, I'd like that red, please. So that's Black Legion. Then up here we have our other buddies. The homestead. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. Thank you. Cause no, they're they're all doing pretty well. I mean, ten thousand for roughly ten thousand for both homesteads. Eight and a half. Devil's Crossing is obviously doing better because I did a little bit of focused farming with some bounties and rerunning Cronish Hideout. So, next goal, Pine Baron's Waypoint. Oh, no, actually, actually, oh, I forgot. There's a reason there were no people to talk to in town, and that is because I have to talk to people here. Otherwise, I would be leaving them behind here in, in the middle of nowhere. That, that, that's just, nope, not done. And of course, because I have Ritz, I get extra reputation. So that's 50 points I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. See you all in town. And that's something we can do later, because well, we're really interested in them. And then we can go here and take a ride. I do have some dynamite with me. Yep, I got four sticks. I remember I need three. So that is one to spare for blowing up treasure chests. Always wondering why you can't just take a, a lockpick along to uh, try and open those heavily reinforced treasure chests. Because all they have is just a bunch of chains around them. With a big lock on it, and no, especially if, if you got something that that's relatively sensitive, you no, know, prone to getting blown up, you might actually wreck it when you you apply dynamite to a chest. You no, know, just just saying. Okay, at least the avalanche is gone. Hey, hey, level 65. So, as I was saying, one more point into Hungering Reach, and then the next point is gonna cost us energy. So, let's, let's refrain from that. And 
Despite the, the, the energy drain, but uh, it, it, it keeps bouncing. So I'm actually going to put some more points into decomposition as well. And then I'll continue with the plan as outlined last episode. Next level, two points in this one. And after that, we'll just put it into other things again. No, the uh, range or the auras. Uh, no, the, the, the shouts. No, the, the war cry, the uh, siphon souls. Those things seem useful. So drain essence is more expensive now, but... I hope I'll make it up with no, some, some good old-fashioned regen and skills of Okuma. Now the best way to test it is of course to get myself into a prolonged fight and see how my energy behaves. The downside is most fights are not really prolonged. Because most enemies there, they die kind of fast. Especially now with the uh, extra um, bonuses to drain essence. Now all I did was increase my damage. Um, I think composition actually gives you quite a lot of extra vitality damage for every single attack tick. Whereas the base skill of course only boosts your Ether damage and vitality decay. And this heavily synergizes with the decay, reducing the enemy's uh, offensive ability. Means, of course, they're gonna hit and crit me less often. Also, very, very valuable. Oh, hello there. So. Well, we, we will have ourselves a. Um, Queen to kill Mogara. I think she was a queen, right? I think she was a queen. So, no, as, as a purple, she should have a bit more life than others. So maybe, just maybe, we can have a, a slightly extended fight there. Drago Tyrant. Remember that... Before you take out the big guys, you definitely want to take out the uh, the shamans. Because these guys have a lot of health and shamans just nearly insta heal them back to full health. And left unchecked, they could do a lot of damage. And of course, they of course have pretty nasty alpha strike damage. They can do a lot of damage, but they're relatively weak. No more glass candy. And it's the, the regular ones are okay, but I seem to recall the uh, Manticore Alphas as being particularly gnarly. Because now for a while I, I had this place as my, my regular farming ground in between episodes. Oh wow, that's level 71, so of course there's six levels above me. Okay, we have the poison gland. And especially near the, the bottom side of the area, because now if you go from from, uh, from the camp, walk through, go through here, and then you go into the forest. Down here, there's a, a couple of packs of alphas that have some, some very high damage potential. Hey, you are a hero. Of course, yes. So I think I was farming the ancient hearts because of course beasts drop those and there's a, a high concentration of beasts here. You got the, the queen of course, Makara, and then you have the other two beasts that we have to kill for the follow-up quests. No, the, the spider queen and the, the thorn beast queen, king, something, big one. The old gnarly bear. They uh, also have a chance of dropping it. So it's a, it's a very nice run to do, do. But of course that was a pre-expansion. Now you can actually share those purple items via the shared stash. You couldn't before the uh, Ashes of Melmoth expansion. And it's definitely been a, been a nice quality of life to have all that stuff in your stash. Because now your high level characters can share those with the lower level ones. So you don't need to do as much farming. Okay. 
And fun thing is the alphas don't seem to be able to get close to me. And I got a Manticore Eye mixed in with the junk. Okay. Well, it's just going rather well. And there, there's definitely some energy regen. And it, it seems to be roughly enough. You know, in between fights, I, I do charge back up. But I think this is this is the the limit of, of how far I should push it. So next up is gonna be getting more spirits, more regen, better gear, all that good stuff. I mean, there's no talents industry that grants me energy regen, so I'll have to compensate for it with gear. Hello there. Gone as well. Hey, tormented souls, that's... Ah, that was the uh, vitality and ether damage prefix. Not a bad one. So let's check in with the NPC folks. I've got the venom that you need and I clicked it away. But really, we, we are gonna go hunt down the next beast. Mokara laced it and then I accidentally clicked it again away again. I will find Gloomweaver for you, yes. So the, uh, the trip down here, finding Gloomweaver, Old Broadbriar and then going into the uh, Tyrant's Holds, we're gonna do that next episode, but I think we, we still have some time. So let's actually go into the farms and hunt down some, uh, I was gonna say hunt down some crops, but we can actually have a chat with uh, the folks in town as well. Because we did send Olgrim here. Hello you. I wasn't sure you'd make it. I wish that, I'm going to check it. I'll speak to the person that's been here since way before you, but now that you say that I can talk to her, I'll of course I'll do. The Legion is split on two fronts. Track down the abomination. You are sending me to the conflagration. Just, just watch me. Wait, I'm a hero. Of course I can do it. Pfft. What do you think? Okay, any more surprises? I don't think so. I think we got everything. So let's just uh, run out and kill some Dermapterans. And then nap the next waypoint. In the next episode, we're gonna go to the Tyrant's Hold. And wrap that section up and then we can go back here again. Oh, just mixing things up a little bit. So that's one of the, the, the things that I found most difficult, the most difficult about Grim Dawn is the, the pacing between, between areas, because some areas just have, have no waypoints at, at natural um, at, at points that are very natural to just take a take a break at to no, switch up and end episodes. No oh, end of quest lines, end of oh, finding portals for new areas, things like that. And other places don't really have that. But of course now the more I've played through, the more where I am of where things are, except for in, in, the, in, in the swamp. I always mix up everything in the swamp. But here I'm finally able to just get the, get the pacing down to you know, keeping the episodes around half an hour rather than them occasionally or frequently running for 50 minutes or longer. Just because I thought, well, I got five minutes, let's just run to the next waypoint. And then of course the next waypoint taking half an hour to reach. Cluster and that was the last one. So the uh, folks in town will be happy because no killing ten eggs killed the bug problem. So next up, finding 
at the waypoint. Ooh, lots of bugs. Lots of dead bugs. Okay. Hey, look, there's some 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 zombies here. And Walter's notes. I actually didn't read that one in the previous episode. Uh, previous set difficulty. It's always a nice thing now on different difficulties. You will end up uh, heading towards different dungeons and places than you did in other ones. Simply because there's just so much stuff in this game. So that, that bookcase you can actually knock it over. But just a physical attack. And then this time we had a small treasure, but so you could you could get lucky and get a larger treasure. And then the waypoints ought to be just down the road. And there we are. Okay. So with this one tagged, let's actually head back and have a have a look for De La Thorns Priest farm. Wait, stop chasing me, you Green light. Yes. Goodbye. I mean, I think on every difficulty you need to pick up the uh, the, uh, the diary for Dela because it is part of the quest chain after all. Because otherwise we won't see her in Act Six. Because of course, otherwise we wouldn't know her secrets. Well, this is not the farm. This is not the farm you're looking for. It's always near the top somewhere, but um, it's too far south for it, I think. Oh, look at all them bugs. No, but in, in, in practice, energy management still is not an issue. That's uh, very good to know. So I actually I could push it further. If you're into running the Crucible, then of course uh, you probably already know that energy management there is much more important because the waves of enemies, they just keep coming. There's much less downtime in between fights than there is in the campaign. And there we are. One Adela's diary. There's much less downtime in between fights. And as such, if you can't really sustain your energy by yourself without the downtime in between fights, then you're gonna run yourself dry across you know, the 10 waves that usually end in pretty big boss fights. No axe bosses in the beginning, um, nemesis bosses uh, towards the higher tiers, and now things get more silly. And there we are, you are happy, yay. And again, we get more reputation because we have our writ. So what's up? Kill the queen, yes. F finish the cycle once and for all. So we already know that, this is part of a diary. Oh, we can have a chat with Dela herself. Bit of a lore bit, inventory has reset, so that's even more stuff. I accidentally purchased a ring. Luckily, you what you buy in the same session, you can just set it back for the same price. Four times the armor, but no plus one to necro skills. I might be a little too hung up on the plus one to skills, but it also has energy regen. And they're both so incredibly useful. So. Uh, poison bolts on attack. Boss of potion bonus. But it's a good use. Uh, see, uh, Dela was up there. There you are. I found your diary. And Yoshi could have safe with me. I'm not, not gonna lie about it. I mean, that would be that would be rude. That wouldn't be professional. I'll keep so. your stash safe. And then of course, now put all the 
components back and then that was a good run so journey to homestead yeah completed it pretty well i think it's, it's always a it's always a very nice and relaxing bit you know the smuggler's pass that must gold prospectors trail homestead pine barrens a lot of walking um but not as much as the uh, large area on the map that you cover would suggest and it's definitely a nice setup so next episode gonna kill all the two uh unique beasties and then go into tyrant's hold and then afterwards it is farm o'clock and then we're heading north this is always the point where no it, it feels like we're we're getting somewhere no one episode another episode and then some configuration blood growth have to remember we have the uh rover quest so in the blood growth we're actually gonna go into the portal and kill ourselves some Catonians. do some of the side areas and then no you can just keep pushing so and from here on out it always feels like no we're ma making pretty good progress because there's large spaces in between and it, you're making a lot of progress on the map but no oh, shouldn't get too far ahead of myself for now i'm gonna thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again next episode. Bye bye.